Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We are out here with tequila today and I know we said we'd talk about some training tips and how to get your livestock guardian dogs to do their job but before we do that I do want to just do a short video about you know their size. So <laughs> tequila is only three months old. Okay it's not even the middle of May and she was born right at the very end of January. So she's actually not four months old yet. And look at that size. Okay. Just to understand exactly how big they are. Look at that size. She is not four months old. Okay. She is not. So just to give you some scale of how fast they grow and how fast they're, how big they're going to get. Let's just say this picture that's popping up on your screen right now was her just shy of 10 weeks old. So she was nine weeks in a couple of days. Looks like a puppy, right? Take a look at this next picture. This next picture that's popping up. This one, <laughs> that is her just 12 weeks old. Okay? Just 12 weeks old, a little more than 12 weeks. So 12 weeks and three days or something like that. But that's what she looked like at 12 weeks old. This next picture is taken at our house the day we got her. And this picture was taken three days after the previous one. So she's still not 13 weeks old in that picture. And this is her today. Tequila! This is her today. Okay. This is four days after that last picture. So she's huge. Okay. She's not four months old. Tequila, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come sit with Whiskey. Good girl. Come here, sit. So just for scale, that's Tequila. That's Whiskey. She is like maybe an inch shorter than he is. Maybe. Whiskey? Tequila. Okay. Maybe an inch. That's not a heck of a lot. So she is a big puppy, okay? Whiskey is about a 50-pound dog. She weighs about 30, 30 to 35 pounds. I haven't actually put her on a scale, but she's 30 to 35 pounds. She's not four months old yet. So understand that these are humongous dogs. All your livestock guardian breeds are big. And I'm just going to show you another picture here. That's the size she's going to be when she's full grown. So before we get to how to train your livestock guardian dogs, please understand how big they're going to get. This is a female, and she's going to be probably about 100 pounds, 110, somewhere in there when she's finished growing. Some of the males can be 150. Some of the other livestock guardian breeds can be even bigger. Okay, so just understand exactly how big she is and how big she's going to be. Before you go out and get yourself a livestock guardian, really, really consider the size because these are not small dogs. So because they're going to be so big, they require a lot of training because a 150 pound dog that's out of control, that's no good. Okay, it's one thing if your chihuahua is out of control, still not good, but at least you can control him. You can pick him up. You will not be able to pick this dog up. So the training required is more intense just because of that. She's going to be too big to control physically. You are going to have to be on top of training. So before you go out and get yourself one of these dogs, please consider if you have the time, the energy, the knowledge, or the, even the ability to search out someone who can help you train your livestock guardian. Because you do not want to get into a position where you have a 150 pound dog that you cannot control. It's not a good situation. So I'm not saying don't get one. I love these dogs and I love tequila. She's amazing and she's sweet and she's just a beauty. Hi, baby. She's lovely and we are so, so happy with her. But please know it is not a decision you should make lightly. Don't just go get one of these one weekend. All right, make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you're prepared for the sheer size 
of a Great Pyrenees or other livestock guardian because they're going to be very, very big. Okay? So that is what I wanted to cover today. In our next dog training video, which should be coming out on Monday, we will talk about leash training your livestock guardian puppy. Yes, they do need to be good on a leash, just like every other dog. We'll see you tomorrow.